Okay, so we're going to try this again. Welcome to the REO show, episode number three. My name is Ben Fredericks. Glad to be here with you. Uh, hopefully Zuckerberg has got this live stream put together. For some reason, Facebook business running live is never highly functional, and I don't understand why. I wish they'd get that figured out. But uh, welcome to the show. Uh, this week is going to be just a little bit different. Uh, please uh, share the stream if you would be so kind. Um, and uh, that would be fantastic. So today we are going to be recapping uh, what we took away from um, the Node Expo out in Dallas. First of all, had a fantastic time. Uh, thank you to Eddie Speed uh, and to all the people that put on that show. They did a fantastic job. Uh, it was not a big pitch fest, meaning there were not a lot of uh, Actually, there were none, really. There was nobody trying to sell us a program uh, or a product of some sort. So that was really nice um, and refreshing uh, that it was actually content oriented and, uh, you know, uh, some fantastic networking, which these things are always, that's what they're best for is the networking aspect. And uh, we had a great time meeting with some of our clients. We met some great new people uh, to network with. Um, my one of my uh, biggest buyers was very generous, took me to uh, Monday Night Football last night at the Cowboys and uh, Titans game. Uh, had a fantastic time. If you've never been to Cowboys Stadium, it is something to see. It's uh, Jerry Jones has really outdone himself. It's a beautiful place. It's huge. I cannot, you know, it's, at points in time, there were, it was like 100 decibels in that place. So, and there's always the cheerleaders, which is, Let's face it, that's pretty cool. And uh, so, but I had an amazing time. Um, and I just, uh, I'm a big fan of Dallas. I always have a good time when I go there. Bob's Chop House, we have some amazing food. Uh, if you've never been to Bob's Chop House in, in Dallas, you just don't know. Um, and uh, we always kind of try to make it a point to go there. And uh, it's fantastic. So, uh, just a couple of takeaways from the Node Expo. Um, the first day was really spent on just mindset, which I'm always a fan of. Uh, if you follow me anywhere on Instagram or anything like that, you always see me talking about mindset and why it's so important. Uh, it was refreshing to hear that from a lot of other people as well. 75% uh, of any business is reflected on the kind of mindset that you have. So it's usually getting out of your own way to make things happen. And, uh, you know, the note business is no different. So I'm always kind of amused when we're out meeting people and they ask us what we do and we tell them, you know, that we're buying anywhere from 15 to 30 properties a month, uh, from banks and auction. And they kind of, you can see the look in their face, you know, like, how is that possible? How do you do that? And we're not special. Uh, we're not, you know, some guys that have it all figured out. Uh, essentially what it comes down to is we take massive amounts of action. So, and we've just developed that muscle that gets you over the hump of fear. And usually the people that go to these events, they're like I, what I like to call professional learners. So they go to these events and then they never take action. Now I've invested in plenty of courses myself. So how can I point these people out? Because I've been there. So, you know, I've gone through and, and felt like, oh, I, I haven't perfected this yet. So I'm just going to keep learning until I, I know I get it right. Um, and that was the biggest thing that ever held me back and without really realizing it. So um, it was finally that you jump all in and you, you start to get over fear or really embrace fear more so uh, by taking a lot of action. So I find that the more scared I am, it means I'm moving in the right direction. All right. And it means I need to do it. So if I'm scared of, you know, bringing somebody else into the organization, or I'm scared of uh, buying, uh, you know, 40 properties instead of 15 this month, whatever the case may be, that means I probably need to do it. So, and that's a great way to build confidence in yourself. All right. Is just to continue to take action. So there was one thing that somebody said, and I, I got a note here. I want to read it to you. And it was, you know, imperfect action beats perfect action every single time. While you're waiting for something to be perfect, 
someone else is executing it imperfectly and stacking up the victories. So it's never going to be perfect. So the, the moral of that story is, is just start doing something. All right. Just even if it's just one step toward your goal. All right. Just one more step. Uh, it's going to it's going to get you there. And don't get distracted by side hustles. I mean, we live in a world where you're constantly bombarded with things on social media it could be, you know, they call it shiny object syndrome. Um, or there's, oh, you can do this and get rich quick or, or whatever. You got to just put your head down and, and do the work. Otherwise, you're just going to continue to get distracted. Um, I'll give you an example. So I came home. I've been gone since Thursday. I got a big stack of mail. And this was uh, the first thing that I opened. It is a, you're invited to flip Florida with Christina and Tarek Mufasa or whatever their name is. Um, and first of all, these, these are always amusing to me. Uh, so they will come in and they will be the gurus, but the best thing is these people never show up. So it's, you know, they have their, their minions go there and then they're not going to give you any content. They're not going to teach you how to invest in anything. The only thing they're going to do is pitch you on why you should invest $20,000 and then to their, you know, seminar, um, where you go and then guess what? They're going to pitch you again for another $50,000 to invest, to really get the secret sauce on how to invest in real estate. So it's ridiculous. So don't ever fall for this crap. Uh, if you are one of these people that have gone to this stuff, I do not hold it against you. All right. I've been to plenty of bad, stupid seminars myself, but have the strength to walk out of these things because you do not have to get sucked into this. All right. So just a couple other things. Um, notes are a huge opportunity. Um, I was shocked at how much so. Uh, there, we're missing the boat on notes big time. And I'm excited because uh, I think 2019 is gonna be a game changer for us in the note space, uh, just with some of the stuff that I've learned over the last few days. But, uh, and we're going to start, I realize there's so much I don't know about that space. So we're going to be uh, investing in our own education when it comes to notes, which I'm super excited about. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we'll be able to share a lot of that information with you guys. Anybody that wants to learn about it, uh, we'll be glad to share it. Um, and we don't charge for it like a bunch of gurus. So um, the moral of the story I don't know what the moral of the story is today. All right. So just take action. All right. You go to do a seminar, come back, take action, have specific action steps that you have written down and say, all right, I'm going to do this, this, and this based on what I learned. Okay. Um, I had, a, I was just so motivated by the people that I met this weekend, you know, people that are playing it at a ridiculously high level, people that have bought and sold thousands of notes in just the last couple of years. Um, it's a game changer. So I think uh, investing in debt is a really interesting thing. And I'm glad to see that we're on that path. Um, and you could be too. All right. So you can do that with the properties that we buy. So if you have an interest in learning more about how to do that, I would encourage you to give us a call, send us a message here on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Odell Barnes, REO. You can find us just about anywhere on those. Uh, and then we'll be back. I will be back next week. I'm wiped out today. I was at the Cowboys game last night till like, I don't know, 1130, which doesn't seem all that late. But for a guy that's used to being in bed by like 930, it was kind of late. And I stayed in a crappy motel. So I didn't get much sleep. But uh, I made it back. I voted. All right. So that was cool. Uh, make sure you get out and vote, obviously. And then uh, if you need anything in the meantime, you have questions about any of our properties, let us know. I think we just picked up three more today. So we'll be getting those uploaded to the website here pretty soon. I uh, wish I could tell you the locations, but I don't have that info with me as I just uh, walked in the door uh, from the airport. But um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please share the stream if you'd be so kind. And then make sure if you're not following us on our other social platforms that you do so. It's just always at Odell Barnes REO. And uh, we will catch you next time. Hey, Jen. How you doing? So anyway, um, yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.